On Sunday, June 6, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai once again graciously made time away from her ongoing meditation retreat to speak with Supreme Master Television team members about recent encouraging developments among the world's Christian clergy while still calling for more accountability regarding the issue of priests abusing children. I read it in the news. It's, it's a little bit more progressing now. So I read yesterday and the day before the, the head of the Church of England, yes, master, yes, master. Reverend Welby, apologized to some of the victims of the abuse from the Church yes. of England. Oh. Yeah, maybe you saw it. Any of yes. you? You saw it, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Good, good, good. Yes. And then also the head of the Catholic Church in Germany wrote a letter at the Pope to let him resign. Yes. yes. Because he say he's too ashamed. Uh, he feels guilty if he keeps being silent or doing nothing, meaning he condones that. And he realized that because of trying to protect the, the honor of the church, you know, the reputation of the church, and he ignored this uh, problem. And if you feel like a collective guilt or something like that. Yeah. Yes, Master. I think maybe some of you have read that. Yes. yes. Es geht für mich im Kern darum, auch Mitverantwortung zu übernehmen für das, was in der Kirche geschehen ist. Im Raum der Kirche, die ein Raum der Heilung sein soll, der Hoffnung sein soll, der Zuversicht sein soll. Es geht also darum, das eine zu sehen, das individuelle Versagen, einzelne Amtsträger, aber die Fixierung allein auf die Amtsträger ist zu wenig, das ist notwendig und das wird auch kommen, auch in anderen Bistümern, auch bei uns. Aber auch die institutionelle Verantwortung, die Verantwortung für die Institution selber. Ich glaube fest an eine neue Epoche des Christentums. Da ist für mich keine Frage. Aber das wird nur geschehen oder es wird besser geschehen, wenn die Kirche sich erneuert und wenn sie aus dieser Krise auch lernt. Ich bin überzeugt, dass diese Gesellschaft die Stimme des Evangeliums braucht, aber dafür braucht es auch eine Kirche, die sich immer wieder erneuert und versucht. Actually, our work does bear some fruit. It's not as much as I want, but it, it does make some waves. It does tear up something, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. The Church of England is very big. It's almost equal to the Vatican. Yes. Yes. It's not belonging to Catholic or anything. It's just independent by themselves. So two of the big... Uh, Church leaders have apologized, and the uh, cardinal, he wanted to resign because of this shameful, so much, so much abuse. Yes, yes. Yeah, only a couple of, of countries reported. Many other countries did not report, but it doesn't mean it did not happen, okay? Yes. Yes. This is evil in, in the house of the Lord, truly like that. They're doing something, at least to show that they have some some shame, some decency to admit and to do something in their own capacity at least. Uh, but it's too little, too late. He even said that the church has reached a dead end even. Believe that? Yeah. Uh, that's the German people, they don't beat around the bush. When they say something, they mean it. So the Catholic Church has the collective responsibility and guilt, and then the Church has reached a dead end. That's what he wrote to the, the Pope. I wonder how it comes out into the public. Maybe he put it in a social media yeah. or something also, not just uh, send it to the Pope alone. His name is the Cardinal Reinhardt, and the head of the Church of England is uh, Mr. The Archbishop Welby, uh, he apologized to abuse victims. Oh, my, it was the use of just apologizing. They kept nourishing it all this time, ignoring it and condoning it silently. Or By being silent, it's almost like you accept it. Yes. Just because if they have less cardinals or less priests, that means they have less power. So they cling on to all this and to, to protect the church's reputation and they ignore the suffering of the little children who are so helpless and so frightened 
in that kind of situation again and again, you know, it's not just one time, two times. And it doesn't matter how many times, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's evil. It's evil. They're only little children, some as young as 13 or something even. My God, how evil can that be? All these decades. And the church still continues to exist and continues to fester this kind of evil within the house of the Lord. It's unacceptable. Yes, yes. yes they, they abuse children because the children are easier to fall victim, like predators. They're molesting the weak, the meek, defenseless, and innocent. If children come home and maybe tell something, or parents might not even believe it and scold the kid or keep quiet, or they threaten the kids to keep quiet or else. Yes. And then even abuse the orphanage boys. Oh, how ugly can that be, my God. We call this the Church of God and the Church of Christianity, the Church of Catholics, whatever, all these holy names. What what kind of degraded to the bottom of the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. This is terrible, and they continue to exist and thrive and prosper, like business and, you know, all kind of advantages and privilege and honor and all that. What a shame. And meanwhile, huh? Meanwhile, the honest street girl is being harassed, being oppressed, being co names, being looked down upon. Because yes, yes, yes. some girls, they don't know what to do. Maybe the house is poor and they just have to sell the only assets they have. I don't mean I condone that. I don't mean that's a good thing to do. But what's the difference between them and these evildoers within the, the house of the Lord? Why condemn these are honest so-called sex workers? They do it. They have to earn a living, and some people need them. Yes. But the priests in the church, they don't need to do that. No way. No. And the, the children, they don't need them to do that. No. Do you see? Yes, yes, yes. So in that way, the street workers, you know, the street girls, they are even more honorable, in my opinion, in yes. my humble opinion. Yes, Master. What for do you try to protect the reputation of the empty church when it doesn't serve the purpose? The church is for the people, not the people for the church. Yes, Master. Yes. The church is to protect people, morals, virtues, and faith. Morals and virtues to live in the society, to harmonize with all beings. And faith is to remember and worship God. The church doesn't serve any of that. If they continue doing this kind of evil deed and, and, and harming the little innocent children, helpless, defenseless children, do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. So what for does the church exist if they don't function the way they should function? Just repeating the, the Bible and singing uh, psalms or whatever every day like that, what's the use of that? Huh? Yes. When a cup is dirty, how would you like to pour elixir into it? Or beautiful drink into that? And how will you drink it? It's still filthy, no? Yes. Yes. I respect these two church leaders very much. The Reverend Head of the Church of England and the Reverend Head of the German Catholic Church. I respect them very much. At least they're decent enough to apologize. But that's not enough for me. That's not enough to make up for all the dramatic and hurtful and, and, and painful feelings of all these thousands or tens of thousands of children and more that are not discovered. Not making up for it ever, never. Yes, yes. And too little, too late also. But at least they did something for their conscience. 
for themselves. At least not condoning the continuing evil practice. At least not to try to cover up. If a cancer is already oozing out of the body, no matter what kind of beautiful clothes you cover it with, it's still a cancer inside. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. It's not just within the body, it's already oozed out onto the skin already. And the smell is so... Uh, what shall I say? So foul, huh? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So repugnant already. And still try to cover with uh, brocade, beautiful silk and silk and satin and chiffon and whatever most expensive dress you can wear. What's the use of that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Any ordinary person, even with very little wit and minimal intelligence, still can understand that. It is not acceptable. It's not pardonable. That's right. Yeah. It's not to condone and to continue. At the cost of other little children in the past, present, and in the future. I'm so angry. I told you I'm an angry master. Yeah. When it comes to the animals and the children, because they're the most helpless, most vulnerable. Yes, master. I could not do the uh, video conference today. I almost could not do it even by the phone, but I had to, I yeah. had to talk to you about this so that you can understand more why I am angry, okay? Yes, 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 yes. And why these things are the cancer of the society, of the world, the big world, big cancer, big, 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 big ugly, filthy cancer that has to be cut off. Otherwise, it infects the whole world, and nobody will believe in the teaching of Jesus if it continues this way. There will be more harm done. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. To deny a cancer is to not seek the cure and not trying to heal it. So they have to do something more obvious than this, more obvious than just here and there a little bit, here and there and all that, and just promising and doing nothing all these years, all these decades already. And how many more tens of thousands of children, little boys, little girls, have to suffer until they open their mouth and do something. I was groomed starting young. The day I met him, I was I was around 18 months old. They targeted me because I was fatherless. I was in my diaper and I ran out and ran right to him. We, we were taught, I mean, the priests and the nuns are God. I just think, like, the word God makes me think of him and I just... <laughs> You're being groomed to get used to uh, a grown man's hands, you know, on you regularly. So he would always have his hands on me. When you have the priest um, touching you every day, you know, that's a hard memory to, uh, to have. And the church covered it up. Who would have believed me, a priest in 19... 48 or 47 would abuse you to do that? They would never heard of such a thing because they covered it up. It doesn't ever go away. It, it has an effect on you for the rest of your life. These are people that these priests ruined their lives and they still, at 83 years old, still affects him. I just feel like I've, like my whole life has been a lie. Has, has absolutely destroyed me.
My children suffered. My wife suffered. I couldn't show any affection with my wife. I had no desire to have children. None because of this. My ch children I couldn't hold or hug. I didn't feel comfortable at all. I still don't feel comfortable now in relationships. <laughs> Look at what they're doing, huh? Behind closed door, forcing little weak children, towering upon them, squashing them, squashing even the little children's dignity and peace. And they will be traumatized all their life, these little kids. And don't wonder if they became criminals even. Right. for hating the system of holiness and which is just betraying their faith and their innocence and destroys their lives. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, I'm just so breathless. I'm just so angry. This is a one-sided oppression and bullying, one-sided, because the children have no say in it. Yeah, that's right. They don't even ask their permission or agreement, nothing. This is our right, how you say? Uh, abuse. Abuse, yeah. Abuse, of course, but that's not enough of the word for me. I cannot find a better word. Abusing, molesting is nothing. This is evil. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. This is criminal. <sighs> okay, so I'm feeling a little better. Yeah, so at least something is moving. That's what I want to tell you, okay? Yes, ma'am. In case you did not read the news. I haven't read for a long time, but now and then I also read a little bit. Just the headlines on my phone. Also, the Irish government apologized after inquiring fines. It was in that church uh, articles, and I did not have time to read all that. Of course, a long time ago, some church in America also apologized. They you know, did something, but too little. Yes, 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 yes. Too little. Yes. I wonder why the law doesn't do anything also, because if normal men outside are molesting children, they put them in jail. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And here, we have the church, the reverence of all the reverence, the holy of all the holy, walking tall, talking big, cashing in, you know, living in comfort, and doing this kind of thing to the children. And the law also does nothing. Don't you feel, is this weird, strange? Yes. Yes. Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. How come they still walking tall, talking big, and lifting their heads up, and revered by other people? I don't understand this society. Do you? No, no master. master. What are the governments doing? And what are the churches there for? Huh? Such bad, filthy, foul examples. And continue. And nobody does anything. Just a little bit here and there and then strip it under the carpet, no? Yeah. So the law is not just at all. No wonder many citizens don't abide by the law. Because it's not serving justice. And no wonder many people left the church because they don't believe in the, the representative of the church anymore. And yeah. I hope they don't leave God. I hope they just leave the church, but not leave the Lord in their hearts. Yes. Yes. Because the priest should be a good example. Why molesting and harassing or oppressing and abusing and killing little innocent children like that? I thought I read somewhere also that there are mass graves that they discovered somewhere. In Canada, that, Master. Did this happen, right? Yes, oh. Master. Oh, my God. So the, that means it could be also abusing and killing. Yes. Sometimes yes. children just disappear. Nobody can even find them. 
So all this in front of the law. And uh, uh, the goddess of justice is blindfolded. And the scale of justice is tipping on one side only. For the weak, the meek, the, the powerless, and the helpless, innocent children, there is no law for them. But for the powerful church, the law is for them. That's what I see. And that's not acceptable. Not ever. Never. Oh, I hate all this. I I sometimes lost sleep over this, thinking how frightened the children must have been, or must be, or will be, in this kind of case. You know, in the corner, in the dark somewhere, they did anything they want with them, and there's no one there to defend them, to protect them, to do anything for them at all. Imagine if it's you. Mm. Yes, yes. Imagine if it's you. I can talk about this forever. But I think I talk enough. Anything you want to add? Master, what yes. can people do? Because it's been happening for so long and every now and then there's an apology, but they don't do anything. And I want to know if there's anything that the people can do to stop they have, this. Yeah, they have to. They have to file complaints to the law. They have to stand up for their own children or the children themselves must say it. But it's risky for them. The children are afraid yes. Yes, 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 yes. because the children know these people are very powerful. They could kill them. They must have threatened them to be quiet. If yes. some children scream or maybe threaten to go and tell the parents, maybe they just silence them, kill them. Yes. Yes, wow. So, So many cases never come to light. I'm sure there are tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands more in many remote corners of the world. Many corners of the world, there are churches everywhere and there are priests everywhere. Priests are very important for the people because they look up to them. Especially the children, they are vulnerable, impressionable, easy to teach them, good or bad. Okay, all right. Something is moving, at least very slow, but something is moving. I like the German priest. At least he's honest. Yes, yes, Master. And he realized it now. He realized that by trying to protect the reputation of the church, he is partaking in this collective guilt. And he realized it's no good. Uh, now, there's another news. Uh, that was one. And the other news is about Mr. Como, governor of New York. Como, remember? Yes, Como. Yes. He was uh, uh, accused of sexual harassment. Yes. And uh, even uh, COVID uh, cover up, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah, but I have explained to you that it's not all uh, the way it seems. I explained to you already. Yes. yes, Master. That in the beginning, nobody knew anything about COVID-19. Even the experts like Dr. Fauci say it's nothing. It's just a bug. Okay, the flu is even more worrisome. I don't need to wear masks and all that stuff. Even uh, openly say that. And later on say, oh, we must wear masks and double masks and whatever. There is no reason for anyone right now in the United States with regard to coronavirus to wear a mask. There's nothing wrong with people wearing two masks. I often myself wear two masks. And so many people, many uh, senators uh, want him out now. It's not all that favorite anymore. That's another thing. Yes, yes. Okay, so Mr. Como, even his own party members, you know, many Democrats were kind of uh, accusing him before, calling him out, and now they uh, they turn around and uh, don't ask him to resign, but support him and praise him at pressers, <laughs> at the press conference. I guess they have become more clear now. Or maybe they have watched the flying news. God willing. <laughs> you know, watch uh, my talk. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so many people watch us. Maybe they could be one of the viewers. Our television is very attractive, very truthful, very colorful, very beautiful, and very useful, very helpful. So, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If anybody watches it, they're doing themselves a great service. Yes. Yeah. Apart from being more knowledgeable, they get some blessing. 
for their own benefit. Yeah. 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 So you see, Mr. Kumo also uh, gets some benefit now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, they turn around and praise him now, openly. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Do you hear anything about Governor of New Sum, California? Any new development about him? No, 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 no. People didn't kick him out yet. <laughs> 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 they should not. That would be harmful and uh, unfair. Unjust. Yeah? Okay. We don't hear much anymore. Not much noise about him anymore. Hopefully things turn out well for him, just like Mr. Kumo. Yes, yes. Yes, Master. Of New York. Anyway, just want to tell you about all that. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. So that you know, uh, maybe your work has borne some fruits. Yes, Master. Yes, 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 yes. It doesn't matter if it doesn't. At least we try our best. Yes, yes, yes. The merit of any work is not measured by the success. It's measured by your effort, your sincerity, your genuine desire to do it well for a noble purpose. So it doesn't matter if we don't have any credit about that. But it seems obvious to me. Like last time, the thing I told you about Israel and Palestine, it's so good that the world may be getting a little more in order. More enlightened, more conscientious, yeah? Yes, yes, master. yes, Master. Master, it seems like many in the church or even the politicians are watching Supreme Master Television and learning from your words. Maybe. Are there many more who have the strength, the ones that watch, the strength to change their ways and improve the situation? Some of them. Some of them will. Some of them do. And let's hope more. Okay, huh? Yes, yes Master. master. Our sincere appreciation, most merciful and courageous Master, for always speaking the indisputable truth on behalf of the most vulnerable among us. We send our high hopes for humanity, and especially for those in influential leadership positions, to face and overcome their challenges with the divine support, and to cherish the innocent children and animals. May beloved Master be always in excellent health and in the mighty protection of all benevolent cosmic beings. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.